Sibajo gave a proof that he is alive. Nigerians have reacted differently to the photos the Vice President of Nigeria is pressing of Prof. Yemi Osibajo shared today on his social media page, especially the verified social media page. Prof. Yemi Osibajo, the Vice President of Nigeria, who decided to prove many people wrong by sharing photos of virtual Federal Executive Council meeting in order for the nation to know that they are leading by examples by observing social distance. While many Nigerians were praising and commending Prof. Yemi Osibajo for using the power of technology and also for uploading it on social media so that people can really learn from them. Many people think that they are actually wrong, that they are not observing social, med social distance. See one of our fans comments below. Coronavirus has taken digitalization to a new old world, new level. Virtual federal executive meetings, very express impressive. Works continue regardless. Well done, sir. We anticipate great results. Share the photo of the virtual federal council meeting at Aso Rock. Prof. Yemi Sibajo made Nigerians and other people to know that the federal government are really working towards this global pandemic and they are also observing social distance. In the photo released by Yemi Sibajo today, 13th, 13th of May 2020, he captioned it President Modu Buhari presides over virtual federal executive meeting. This post has brought more recommendation than criticisms thank you viewers for listening to this news look at some of the reactions of nigerians over the posts of yemi osibajo thank god for technology work continues no delay well done sir but we have appreciated a man with a lesser age why the president momodu Buhari no true Please follow this account. Wow. These are the comments of Nigerians. Immediately they, they saw or they, they saw the photo of Yemi Sibajo observing a social distance with his cabals during the Momodu Paris 8 on the meeting of FEC. Photo photo government. Why can't they do ordinary live video or live press interview like other world leaders, like Donald Trump? Donald Trump doesn't um, present a recorded video or a recorded broadcast. Instead, he comes out live to address his citizens. Why do they keep giving us photos upon photos? Why do they keep showing us photos? And photos and Photoshop, Photoshop all the time. Why can't they come out and um, express themselves by um, giving us a live broadcast? Then that is how, how we know that they are alive and capable and competent. That is how we know that we have a, a, a leader. That's how we know that the president exists. That is how we know that this is not Jibril, but President Muhammadu Buhari. Now we cannot believe anything anymore because they have not given us the evidence to prove that they are our leader that we have ever known or we, we, we wish we voted for. That's President Momodu Buhari. Now they are giving us benefit of doubt. They are making us to doubt that the person we voted for is not the person on seat presently. The person we voted for is not the person that. Oh, that is in the villa right now. The person we are we, we in, the, in, in the villa is quite different from the person we voted, we voted for in 2015. Why that? Why are they deceiving us? Why are they confusing Nigerians over and over again? Since the president is not wearing a face mask, that means that Nigerian is COVID-19 free. I've said this before. 
I've said it, I said it earlier on. I'm not, I'm, this is not my first time of observing that President Mamadou Buhari has never for once put on this face mask since this pandemic began. He has never for once put on face mask. I observed it. Any meeting he is going, anywhere he goes, as a leader that um that had, that have been have been addressing his citizens, advising his citizens to take precaution, to take measures on never on how to be to, 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 to protect ourselves from COVID-19 pandemic. The person advising us and giving us the, 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 the precautions that, give, that, that, that is giving us advice is not following the lead. It's not following the advice. Look at it. He said we should always put on our face mask, our hand gloves, wash our hands regularly, but he is not doing so. Since this pandemic started, I have never for once seen President Momodu Buhari putting on a face mask. That show that shows that there is nothing like COVID nineteen in Nigeria. They have been using this to deceive us, because if there is, if really COVID nineteen exists, I see no reason why our president, President Momodu Buhari, would not be putting on a face mask. I see no reason why. Those that, um, that see the reason why is cabals we were putting on face mask, and he, as a president, not putting on a face mask, he's not even scared of this coronavirus. If this coronavirus really exists, I'm very much sure that Buhari will protect himself because he knows how deadly this COVID 19 is. So, why, how come is Buhari not putting on a face mask? I've observed it several times. On different occasions, I've been asking, but nobody answered. That means there's no COVID-19 in Nigeria. So they have been deceiving us. They have been de they've deceived us before. They have been deceiving us ever since. And they continue to deceive us. Now that we know the truth about this COVID-19, we know, know the truth about so many things that have, have been happening in this country. We know that they have been deceiving us. And they continue to deceive us. But according to Osiba, um, according to Namdi Kano, he has said it that they should keep deceiving Nigerians and he will keep exposing them as God lives. I think we all, should all listen to Namdi Kano. No matter what the government do, no matter what their plans are, no matter what their evil plans are, we know very much sure, we are very much sure that Namdi Kanu is there for us to expose them, to make us know the truth about their evil plans. I'm very much sure that they lied that this country has virus, this virus, so that they can be extorting money from supporters, so they can, get, they can be getting money from different countries to support with. Imagine they have, they, they have really connived together to, to, to dupe other countries because of this COVID-19. This COVID-19 is really bringing money for them. It's really making them rich. That is why they have refused to put a, a, a relax or to relax this lockdown because they are gaining a lot from this lockdown. I know that with God's mercy, and protection, this COVID-19 will never come near our dwellings. Because they have been lying about this COVID-19 coming to Nigeria. And the word of God says out that your, our tongue is a powerful tongue. We have a powerful tongue. Our tongue is powerful. Whatever we say is, we, should, we might or sh will come to pass. So we should be careful. If this COVID-19 is not in this country, and these people, government, are saying that people are dying of this COVID-19, that means that their tongue might even allow this virus to come to us. But I know that God in his infinite mercy will never allow that to happen. Will never make them succeed over this. So, this is all I have to say. Nigerians, they should keep deceiving us. Namdi Kanu will keep exposing them. I will thank God for the intervention given to Namdi Kanu.
for all for, 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 for being bold and confidence to expose them one after the other. So viewers, that is all I have to say concerning this news. Your comment is very needed. Don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates. Thank you.